Hi guys, Prashant here and uh, in this video I'm going to share about how you can use a custom uh, HTML JavaScript code to try and track when people scroll down on my website and send this information to Facebook through Pixel. Generally what you can do is if you are aware of Google Tag Manager, there is an inbuilt trigger in Google Tag Manager which is called scroll depth trigger. We can use that trigger and we can deploy the Facebook Pixel along with some events and we can send those informations to Facebook saying so and so person visited this page, uh, this much of the content or scroll down to this much of the page. But apart from using that, there's another option that Facebook makes it available through their developer console, right? If you go to developers.facebook.com, you have a custom HTML JavaScript code that Facebook gave you. So you can even implement this code to try and track the engagement of a user. And based on this, what you can do is you can even create custom audiences based on how effective uh, engagements were made or how people engage with your site. For example, I want to capture those people who came to my site and scrolled completely to the bottom of the page. That means they scroll completely the 100%. So you can put these people into a bucket and try and serve them different messages. So I'm going to show you this. Again, this is available through Tag Manager directly through a scroll depth trigger, but I'm not going to use that option. I'm using a, a, a custom code and implementing that through Google Tag Manager and see as to what we can capture. So let's jump right in. Now this is a Google Tag Manager account I have. So see, I, I, I will show you two things. One is I am implementing the scroll depth event FB code through a custom HTML. And there's another thing that I can do through the, uh, the, 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 the normal trigger that we have. So I have implemented this part. So let me take you through. This is the custom HTML code that Facebook gave me. You can find this in the developers. Facebook developers forum, right? You see script. So what this code does is, this code will capture when somebody comes to my site. It will not just capture the page view, but apart from that, it will also capture the viewpoints, the checkpoints. View content checkpoints is what they're capturing it is. So you see, if you scroll down, I am capturing 10, 30, 50, 70, 90. This is what I want to capture. Or if you wanted to make it 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever, you can put those uh, values there. And it is defined with checkpoints. Now, if you have a little bit idea about how this code works, the JavaScript code, the HTML code, you see, whenever this happens, is it says, initiate a Facebook request and send this interaction or activity as a track custom, which is a custom event, this is generally the syntax that we follow. And this is the name of the event, view content checkpoint. And it is saying capture the depth as well. And depth is captured here with the C. If you go back to C, the C is the checkpoint. And if you go up, the checkpoint is this 1030 that we've seen. You see? So what this does is when somebody comes to my website and scrolls to that particular part 10, 10, 10% or 30%, 20%. So it will send an event. I will show that after it gets deployed on the site. So again, I'm triggering this to fire on all pages of my website. So which is already there. So I'm just going to do this and uh, it is already in preview mode. So I'm going to go to my site I'm I'm refreshing my website. So when I refresh my website, you see what happens. The first code that I've deployed is the pixel code that will send the basic information about the page view. But apart from this, there's the other code, which is the custom HTML code that I've just showed you. This will send those activities when people scroll down 10% to 30% as an event. And the name of the event that we saw was view content checkpoint. You see this? The first was the page view. You see the page view? It's in saying the so and so people person came to the site. If you see the view content checkpoint, it did not send any information because I did not even scroll down. But if I happen to scroll down, you see the number here? It's, it, it keeps changing. Right? So you come here, you view content checkpoint. The first that was sent was 10. So I scroll 10% and I went to 30%. So this way what you can do is you can send this information to Facebook Pixel and in the Facebook Pixel what you can do is you can create audiences based on that particular activity. You see, when you come down here, you want to checkpoint. View content checkpoint. And refine by url parameter and here you can say the depth and you say is this. Right. 
less than 10, less than 30, and then you can create other buckets of people who scroll down to 10%, 30%, 50%, 70%, and you can use them as excludes. So this way, this way what you can do is you can create those buckets or those custom audiences of people who engage with your site in a way where you think, yes, I can do remarketing to these people. Or if you go back to analytics, there's another concept where you try and create an audience of those people who just bounce from your site in like five seconds, 10 seconds, and you capture them in one audience and you exclude them because you don't want to show ads to those people who just visited and left within 10 seconds. But rather what you can do is you can here create a custom audience of those people who just came to the website and scroll into at least 50% of the page and you can serve them with a different message, right? So this is a one small funnel that you can set up to show different ads to people who came to different uh, uh, checkpoints. Right. You can try and implement this and uh, if you have any questions, you can you know always let us know. And uh, I will be sharing more videos about these new and in-depth features in my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, please do that. Thank you. I will see you with another video soon. Thank you. Thank you so much.